Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. I have uh, HMKG, His Majesty the King's Guard from Norway. Um, if if you haven't seen the performances that they there, there's so many on on YouTube. It's it's just great. The uh, the the drill designers there have worked uh, really hard over the years to create unique performances every year. It's, uh, I would liken it to uh, uh, the Silent Drill Platoon, the Marine Corps Silent Drill Platoon, in that they have a, a, uh, a, certain, uh, a certain framework that they work within. You'll see some repetition throughout the years, but then there's new things added here and there, and it's, I just, I really appreciate the concept. Uh, and also the execution. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the drill team is uh, conscripts, brand new to the uh, the Norwegian military, every single year, <clears throat> and so they have to uh, uh, they enter service, they have to go through training, and then they go to the drill team, and then they go through that. And once the year is finished, that's it. Then they start all over again, which. I don't know if I'd want to do that, honestly. I'd, I'd want to expand and continue, and uh, that's, uh, <clears throat> that's difficult. So, anyway, this is 2023 at, uh, yep, you can see that, all right, at the uh, Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo. So, I'll turn this down just a bit. There we go. Not completely. There we are. So the band and the drill team come out. the The drill team marches through, <clears throat> and we see the uh, uh, commanders and the color bearers. Now, what's interesting about uh, the uh, the performance is that they will execute uh, some very different. Uh, movements love that collapse that looks so good and then the uh, uh, dropping off really nice that's an excellent precision there for the uh, the, the company front line that they have there and such great ripples wonderful job now in a, a performance like this you have audience on three sides uh, but you you have to choose a perform two side uh, the uh, the team is three-dimensional and they can only face one direction at a time so okay so I tell you what I'm gonna do I have to back this up because you have to see this and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, turn this up as well, because this is so cool. It really is just awesome. Oh, it was short. I was hoping they'd uh, go into the uh, uh, the two four timing but that's okay still is absolutely fantastic <clears throat> and you can see there's some great timing here uh, the, the band is included at some points <clears throat> which now you're going to see and uh, then the drill team does their own thing at some points uh it's it's a really very well designed very well thought out show and i know that uh, you know audiences love it all over the world just like our uh, our service drill teams audiences just love to watch them so this is exhibition drill and uh, there are some American type movements in in there you'll see sometimes they will execute uh, an about face like the Americans do sometimes they'll execute a, a rear march uh, like the Americans but most of the time their their uh, their rear marches actually are, are to the left 
and there's a reason for that musically but uh, the 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 rear march they'll they'll actually cross over and turn so that they're they're uh, once they finish the turn their legs aren't crossed and then they're able to then step off uh, right away just a different variation but I've I've always appreciated them ever since I found out uh, I think it was maybe 2000 uh, 2005 2006 I found out about them So, sorry band, I'm going to skip some of your performance. It's interesting having the, uh, uh, the short uh, or the small banners there on the rifles. So one uh, oh, so that's pretty much it for uh, uh, for the drill team only performance. Uh, and, uh, and so as a, a drill guy, then you know, <clears throat> obviously I'm going to uh, uh, want more and more, but uh, but I'll uh, I'll play. Uh, another year in just a second but look at that awesome precision there that's that's just uh well and the the crowd clapping along with the music they're just absolutely loving it and uh, and rightfully so you can see um just there's tiny tiny things that are out of place and almost unnoticeable but then again you know i i they have a high high level of precision and i wouldn't uh i wouldn't expect anything else so let's see here we go this is uh back in 2013 that i've watched so this is the sweden international tattoo There comes the drill team through the band. You can see there are some Commonwealth stylings there in the marching technique. Uh, their port position is quite low, <clears throat> relatively speaking, to uh, how the Americans carry the the M1 Garand. And you can see uh, the the Commonwealth uh, st uh, style of uh, of arm swing, and then that. Uh, there you go. There's the uh, about face. Nicely done there. Interweaving the uh, ranks. So as far as uh, drilling, uh, performing, uh, a drill team performing with, a, with music, <clears throat> especially a, uh, 
this type of music, well, really any type of music, there should be a form of, uh, or an attempt for visual musicality. And so far, uh, the team has done that. And visual musicality is a, a visual representation of what you're listening to. I love that. Really, really well done. Actually did something very similar to that to uh, uh, with the, uh, uh, the, the gentleman I trained in uh, Qatar a few years ago. Then the American about face, or the American styled, I should say, about face. <clears throat> Just because we use it doesn't necessarily mean that it's ours, but that's the uh, the paradigm from which I work. So. Now we have the drill team only, so let's turn up the volume here. Turns to the left is fine. I find just interesting, uh, you know, the the standard that I'm I'm very used to is uh, turns to the right. Really nice, good variation on uh, what we saw before from 2023, and then that was uh, this is now 10 years earlier, so very much appreciate that nicely done <clears throat> so as I was saying uh, earlier with the last uh, uh, company front or long line um, you can only face one direction. You have to have a perform to side, as I call it. Um, although the team does, uh, uh, the, the team does uh, uh, have parts of their performance that are uh, very impactful from all three sides. Now, I, you know, with the, the, the slight uh, mistakes that you'll, you'll find here, uh, it could be early in the season um, for them to uh, uh, for them to be performing. Uh, it, they are conscripts, brand new every single year. So with those just slight mistakes, I'm I'm not surprised, but I'm definitely willing to uh, to give them a uh, yeah, let's go up here. Willing willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. It's it's tough to learn something so quickly. And there we have the flags again. Well done on making the circle. A uh, little bit of a, a form problem as they went into it, but once they got there, just fine. Uh, 
Ah, lost a flag. Lost a rifle, too. My goodness. Good job avoiding the rifle on that uh, gate turn there. And another avoidance. Yep. There we go. <laughs> And again, audience just loves it. Ah, Timp player at the side there. Nice. Well, as I was saying, I, I always appreciate their performances. Just an excellent job every single year. And I'm very impressed with the level of execution also every single year. So uh, the question might be from somebody, especially cadets, what do you do with a dropped flag? What do you do with a dropped rifle? Looks like somebody went in uh, as the as everybody was moving towards that end of the uh, the stage. Uh, somebody went in, grabbed the rifle, and now probably somebody's moving in behind the team and taking that flag away, or might wait until the lights go down. Um, but you uh, you leave it uh, in this type of, of performance. You you definitely leave it. Let's see if the uh, the flag is still there. Yep, it's still there. So, um, yeah, leave the rifle in this type of performance. For cadets uh, in their in, in a, a junior ROTC drill meet, pick it up. Just pick it up immediately. Don't wait for the commander. That is, uh, it's not outdated. I'm not, I'm, I don't want to go there, definitely. Um, it's not an outdated mode of thinking, it, it, but there is a place for it and, and there isn't a place for, uh, you know, like, well, I'll bring up the silent drill platoon again. Uh, the silent drill platoon, uh, will ev sometimes have a drop. It, it just happens. That's, that's the way things go. Uh, nobody's perfect. And, uh, uh, let's see. Let's go back a little bit so you, you can watch something while I'm talking. Um, so, uh, you know, with the inspector coming out, uh, the inspector might not toss perfectly. One of the Marines in the long line might not toss perfectly. The, the catch is just not there and it drops. And you've seen it. There's been a couple of times that that happens. Or uh, uh, one of the covers is knocked off. That's also happened uh, once or twice. And I've posted videos uh, of those. And I explain what goes on and how it happens. And I've even been told that, uh, well, they, they do that on purpose so that they can show the precision and the bearing. And No, no, they don't. It's just things happen. Uh, there's no reason whatsoever to show uh, somebody getting their hat knocked off or, or dropping a rifle, none whatsoever. And there's there's even been a, a, a broken rifle at, at some point. So, uh, you know, equipment malfunctions, we don't open our hand exactly at the right moment. It, it's just something that, uh, uh, that, that happens. So uh, you, you recover from it immediately. Um, in, in something like a, a cadet's a, a cadet type junior ROTC uh, performance, um, 
but for something like this, for something like the the uh, Air Force Honor Guard, the the Navy, uh, that level of, of uh, performance, then you wait. It's uh, unless you can recover it right then and there. There's a difference between uh, a, a drop and then uh, a hit, as it's called. A hit, the, the term was developed by Constantine Wilson. It meant that the, the, the rifle probably hit the marching surface, but you were able to easily recover it immediately. It still counted as a, as a mistake or a fumble as, as far as scoring goes, but, uh, but as far as the performance goes, you don't have to halt everything and then break the momentum of the performance. So anyway, uh, let's see. What is that? Uh, 20, 21 minutes of uh, talking about His Majesty the King's Guard and how to recover from a dropped rifle, which I actually have written an article about. So uh, I'll post that link down below. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.